Hey guys, in this tutorial we're going to make our game an actual game by um, making it so we keep track of the zombies that we spawn and when there's none left. Um, so the first thing we're going to do is I decided we're just going to use the game mode instead of a spawner. We don't really need the spawner, um, so we'll just use the game mode for everything. So we're going to get rid of this stuff, get rid of this variable, compile, save. And in the spawner we'll just select everything, control C, control V into our game mode, right click this and create a variable. And uh, right click this and make it a variable. And on begin play, we'll do a delay of uh, 0.5 seconds. And then we'll do spawn zombie. So uh, we'll just use our game mode instead of the, uh, we'll leave our spawner in case we want to come back to it. But for now, we'll just use the game mode. And make sure in your world settings, which if you can't see, you can hit window up here, world settings, it, your game mode is selected. Sometimes when you change the game mode, you have to start Unreal 4, so just keep that in mind. Um, so our game mode is now keeping tra is now um, spawning our zombies. So let's make it so we keep track of the zombies that we've spawned. So what we'll do is we'll make a new value and we'll uh, name it. We'll make it an integer and we'll name it zombies to spawn. And when we call spawn zombie, if zombies to spawn is greater than zero, then we will execute the spawn code. If it's not greater than zero, we're going to do a new custom event called check for victory. And we'll just uh, call that check for victory. Now check for victory is also going to have a timer. Uh, we'll worry about that in a second actually. What we're going to do first is we're going to add these zombies to an array. So we're going to do add unique and we're going to make promote this to a variable and we're going to change its type to base zombie change its fight that's fine we'll name it zombie or active zombies compile and save uh, so we'll just connect this connect this so what this is doing is it's adding our zombie to a list of active zombies so when we call check for uh, victory now what we could do is we could just do uh, is valid index, but the problem is is our zombies are only going to be invalid once uh, they actually get deleted. Which if we go back to our zombies, they have a lifespan of ten. Whoops, I actually got rid of that by accident. They had a lifespan of ten seconds, uh, so they're going to be valid for that time. So we're going to have to do um, a check for all of them. So what we're going to do is we're going to do for each loop and we're going to actually first we're going to set a new variable called has one and we don't want that to be an array so we'll change that to a single variable. I'm going to set that to false when this is called because we want to make sure it checks properly. And um, so for all of our active zombies is alive, we're going to get is alive. And if it's true, we're going to set has one to, whoops. Okay, so we need to set has one to true, even though uh, we haven't, we're checking we won, because we want to set it to false if our zombies are alive. So if there's a zombie who's alive, we're going to set this to true. If no zombies are alive, it'll complete, and this will still be... Uh, Sorry, I keep screwing that up. We're going to set this to false if a zombie is alive. Let me go through this. We're going to check for victory. When this is called, we're going to set it has one to true. And then we're going to check all the zombies to see if there's one that's alive. And if there is, it'll set has one to false. And then when the, when the uh, loop is completed, we're going to do a branch. And we're going to check has one. If we have one, we're going to print string. You one guy, and uh, we'll do a delay and just go back there, I guess, just so it'll keep printing that. And if it's false, we're gonna do timer by event, and we'll just reconnect this over here, and we'll set its time to, uh, to one second. So it'll check every one second for the zombies. So now, zombies to spawn, we'll set this to three, I guess. And we'll uh, set zombies to spawn here. This is under spawn zombies. 
we'll get zombies to spawn. Minus one. Connect that. All right, so we're going to spawn three zombies. They're going to... Uh, and uh, if there's none left, our spawn zombie thing is going to do check for victory. And check for victory is going to check if there's any zombies left. If there is, it's going to set has one to false. Otherwise, it'll be true. And if it's true, it's going to keep printing you one. So let's see if we can kill three zombies and win the game. There's one. And something's not working right. So let's go back to our game mode. Uh, time between spawns, right. That's what I thought. So we'll just set that to one for now. And we'll go back into our game. Kill this guy, kill this guy, kill this guy, and you won, guy. All right, so we've got our first game loop going. All right, so it's not much, but it's uh, a bit to go on for now. We can keep expanding this, and uh, in the next video, we'll probably add some more weapons and uh, some things like that. So thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next one.